Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Real Estate TV. Really excited to bring you this one. Uh, I've been selling in the town of Officer for about, oh, coming up on four years now. Um, so I'm going to take you uh, for a detailed look at all the different parts of it, um, where the good investment spots are and where the good um, sort of established um, third, fourth home buyer spots are. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, you join me on Whiteside Road. I'm on the side of another road. I, I seem to have a habit of doing this, uh, but there's a good reason this time. Um, I am standing in a pretty cool spot in Officer. Uh, so to my left here, uh, that is zoned for urban growth. So I'm not sure if you can see, uh, but just over here, uh, a developer has set up a land office to sell townhouses. And then on the other side of that is a project we're gonna check out a little bit later. But uh, on this side of the road, just behind me, behind these bushes, not sure if you can see through there, um, but that's paddocks and it is zoned for shops. Um, so that's one of the important things you need to know about Officer is where the shops are. Because uh, if you go back to episode one, um, you will know that proximity to amenity is super important. Hey guys, you now join me from Timbertop Boulevard. Um, excuse the sun, that is just nuts because it's like eight o'clock in the morning, so it's just coming up. Um, but this is a completely different part of Officer. So it's, uh, again, it's zoned for urban growth. It's next to that townhouse site that I pointed out uh, in the last video. Um, but it's a lot fancier. I mean, you can sort of tell from the, uh, from the architecture of the structures and this, wow, that is, sun is nuts. Um, there's a beautiful park behind me. Um, and you can tell by some of the architecture um, on some of these houses uh, that it's just a very, very, the wind will be nuts, uh, it's just a very beautiful project. Um, so this is definitely the most expensive part of Officer. Um, it's north of the highway um, and uh, the developer has done an amazing job of creating quite a nice atmosphere uh, on this project. Um, so this is definitely, as I said, the most expensive part of Officer. Guys, you join me in an estate just off Brunt Road. Um, and this is definitely the most affordable part of, uh, of Officer. It's south of the, uh, of the train line. The train line is just there behind those bushes. Um, and that's a big part of the reason why it's, uh, it's so affordable. It is close to the station. Um, it's a little bit more difficult uh, to get to the freeway from here. There is a little bit more mucking around. So basically the amenity and the proximity to that amenity has meant that it is a little bit more affordable. So there are definitely some bargains to snap up in here. If I ever have anyone come into my office and they're looking for a block of land that's more affordable in Officer, this is where I begin. Um, but that said, there's still some cute little houses. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see that one, um, but I'm a big fan of that. That's a nice little cottage style thing. Um, and there, there's one over there too. I'm not sure if you can see uh, that one there. Um, so this, it's still a really nice area and you've got this big park behind me. Um, definitely a good place to snap up a bargain. Guys, you join me from the most popular part of Officer. That behind me is Bridge Road. Uh, and we are in the very, very, very popular Arcadia Estate. Now they sell at a ton of blocks every month. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a really good story. They, um, they release land and people queue and wait from sometimes from midnight just to get a block. It's like the launch of a new iPhone for land, which is just nuts. And let me tell you exactly why. Amenity. Um, I, I've said it before um, and I'm standing in the center of, um, of all the action. So behind me is a school, there's another school, and then behind that is a park. Uh, down there is a future freeway on-ramp, so there's literally gonna be a freeway on-ramp into the estate, so we're talking access. That there is the municipal center. That's the municipal center, but next to it is the officer station. So you've got a train station in the estate. Um, and then this vacant land over here, all this dirt, is the uh, future officer town centre. So it's literally going to have bars, cafes, restaurants, talk of theatres, everything. I mean, um, you could not be more in the action uh, if you tried when it comes to officer. So that's why they sell out so quickly. Um, a good tip for investing uh, would be buying an officer, hundred, uh, buying an Arcadia, 100%, just because it's so close to the amenity. And when you go to sell, I mean, you've got that sales pitch of if you build the right house and the person 
uh, likes the house. I mean, they're going to be walking distance to trains uh, near the freeway, bars, cafes, restaurants, schools, parks. It's all here, really. Join me from Siding Avenue, which is the uh, the site for the new Officer Town Centre. I mean, they've put up all of the hoarding, ugh, all the hoarding to say um, that it's the future town centre. I mean, this is the municipal building that they've built, uh, which is a pretty crazy looking structure. Um, and I can imagine, I don't know, before they had the hoarding up and before Arcadia was here, that was a pretty far out looking structure in the middle of a paddock. Um, but uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the, the train just there. Uh, the station is just over that way somewhere. Um, but this is the hub. I mean, if you have a look, I'm not sure how well this is going to go. But this street goes all the way down there. And all the way back to that school there. So this is going to be massive. Actually so big that I think I need to do a, uh, a full episode on the Officer Town Centre. Um, so stay tuned if you want to know a little bit more. Uh, I'm going to try and get something together. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, the weather has definitely turned. Uh, it's, uh, it's starting to rain, but I'm pushing through anyway. Uh, this is the final spot. Um, this is, uh, you, well, you join me just off Cardinia Road, right by the Arena Parade Shopping Centre. Uh, that street sign says Brownfield Drive, so I'll show you where that is on the map. Um, but uh, this estate is uh, one of the more premium uh, ones in the area. It's one, also one of the older ones in the area. It's quite established now. Um, and basically the developer just did a really, really, really good job at making a nice project. So it was desirable. Um, and you can tell from, I mean, even this, this tree, yeah? Check that out. That's not just some regular old tree that was quite cheap, that's quite expensive. Couldn't tell you what it is. Uh, my mum would be quite disappointed because she's a green thumb. I guarantee you she'll be down below in the comments telling everyone what it is. Um, but they've planted them all the way down that road. So it looks quite beautiful. And just some of the architecture that you get in this project is nice as well. I mean, we've got a cottage there. I just came from down that road and there was a few of them there. Uh, and I can just see the top of that silver roofed building there is also a cottage. And you've got some beautiful parks. And I mean, even those townhouses look quite nice. Um, and they've just done a really good job of uh, making it feel nice. Um, and believe it or not, and this is not something you'll hear from a builder very often, um, the hills make it, uh, make it interesting. I mean, it is quite undulating if you have a look. There are some hills. The house is uh, on some crazy stumps over there. Um, and I think that adds character and desirability, which means that the, de the demand for the properties is higher. So basically, it's just really beautiful. So people wanted it. Shock horror, I know. Um, but uh, that's, that's a big chunk of the appeal of this end of town. Um, and oh, you can just through there catch a glimpse. You see that tiny little speck of red in that gap there? That's the Arena Parade Shopping Centre. So there's quite a big shopping centre there. Uh, you're not too far from the freeway on-ramp. I mean, it's sort of, well, it's actually over there, but access to it is just in that little clearing there. So you kind of just go down this road, get on, and jump up there. Um, so it wouldn't take too long at all. So amenity and desirability. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you got something out of that. If you did, please leave a comment down below. It'd be great if you could subscribe uh, and pass it around. Your word of mouth is super important to me. Thanks, guys.